In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Instagram to N8N. Whether you're looking to automate your social media processes or streamline your workflow with Instagram, this tutorial will guide you through each step with clarity and ease. To get started, we'll begin by incorporating a Facebook trigger node into your N8N workflow. Now, you might be wondering why we are using a Facebook trigger node when our goal is Instagram automation. That's a great question. Instagram and Facebook are closely linked in terms of their developer ecosystem. Instagram is owned by Facebook, so these platforms share many integrated features when it comes to automation. Next, we need to set this node's object specifically to Instagram. Doing so ensures that our trigger node is focused and tailored to respond to Instagram-related events. This step is crucial for honing in on the exact activities you wish to automate or track on Instagram. So make sure you've selected Instagram as your object. Once the Instagram object is set, the next step is to choose the app ID. You'll want to select the app ID that's associated with your credentials. These credentials are what authenticate your access to Instagram's API through N8N, linking your account to the broader Facebook developer tools. If you haven't yet set up your credentials or aren't sure which app ID to choose, you can find more detailed guidance on obtaining and configuring these IDs on both Facebook and Instagram's developer portals. Now, let's decide on what specific events or data you want N8N to monitor from your Instagram account. Here you have a couple of options. You can use an asterisk or which essentially instructs N8N to listen to all available Instagram events. This is particularly useful if you want to keep your automation broad, allowing for comprehensive monitoring of any changes, new activities, or other occurrences on your Instagram. However, if your plan is to focus on certain types of events, you can specify particular filters. This way, N8N will only activate in response to selected triggers, making your automation more focused and efficient. When setting filters, think about what your priorities are. Are you more interested in monitoring new posts, engagement metrics, or perhaps user interactions? Taking a moment to define these priorities will enhance the value of your automation, ensuring that the data flowing into your workflow is both relevant and actionable. As we've seen, integrating Instagram with NA10 using a Facebook trigger node brings the power of automation right to your fingertips. Whether you choose broad monitoring or a more targeted approach, N8N offers a flexible and powerful way to manage your social media strategies. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're excited to implement these newfound capabilities. Feel free to revisit parts of this tutorial whenever you need, and happy automating.